What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Loner Mikey back at it with another video. As the title of the video, I got a quick drop for you guys to top 10 sneakers of 2020. These are the top 10 kicks that I personally rank, this is my opinion, of the kicks that have dropped this year. Coming at you at number 10, I got the Triple Black Fair Gods. I actually have this pair. I wore them a few times, as you can see on my Instagram picture here. I got them actually for my birthday. I threw these on. I think I wore them about four or five times. I actually just recently got rid of them. I actually got a new pair. I got a pair of Royal Ones that I picked up. This is number 10. Coming at you at number nine, I'm gonna say these are the Dunks University pack. You got the St. John's, you got the Syracuse, and you got the Kentucky Dunks. I actually went after all three pairs and I actually took an L in the sneakers app. So shout out to the sneakers app. I haven't hit since 2016 on the Silver Bullets. That's the last time I hit on a pair. Coming at you at number eight, I got the pair of Jordan 1 Mochas. These dropped, as you can see, the prices have been going up crazy on these. Fortunately, I wasn't able to get a pair. Like I said, I haven't hit anything on sneakers that. Potentially, I looked at buying this pair probably off resale, maybe GOAT. That's gonna be an alternative. I'll probably get this pair later this year, maybe in the spring. Vocal ones, man. I'm so mad I missed out on these. Coming at you, number seven, this is the Kobe Grinch. This sneaker is an all-time grill of mine. Just the unique colorway and how vibrant the green is in this pair of sneakers is just crazy. Especially when Kobe wore these Christmas Day. I, my eyes were glued to this pair. But when they released, I wasn't able to get them. Limited as they were. As you can see, the prices here from Stock X. It looks like I probably won't be getting this pair probably to next year Christmas season. You see what Santa brings me. Coming at you at number six, I'm gonna put a double pair here, the Union Jordan 4s. I can't really decide which colorway to go with. I'm just gonna put both. I think these are a really, really good pair of kicks right here, especially with the mesh toe. These are gonna be a solid pickup. I probably won't get them because of the price point on these, but yeah, these are some heat. Coming at you at number five, I got the Ahmed Leon Door New Balances. I actually like the red pair and the green pair. Man, I'll take any pair, honestly. I think this is a sleeper this year. Stepping away from either the Jordans and Adidas is in the world. This is why I have them at number five here on my list. Coming at you at number four, I got the Air Jordan 5 Off-White. These dropped earlier this year. Super limited, super hype pair of kicks right here, especially anything with the Off-White tag. You already know I wasn't able to get a pair and take my L's all year since 2016. Shout out to Sneakers that once again. I can't. They haven't blessed your boy, so I'm asking for the Nike guys to bless me one time. Uh, at first, I was uh, kind of thrown away by the tongue, you know, with any pair of Air Jordan 5s, you know, they got that pretty thick tongue. Uh, with these, you got the lot slimmer tongue, probably a lot easier to wear with jeans. Coming at you at number three, we got the Jordan 4 Off-White Sale. I actually saw these in hand. I actually cleaned the pair for one of my clients. If you guys don't know, shout out to KixRx, that's my business. This shoe is clean. I like to wear a lot of navy. I like to wear a lot of earth tone colors. Virgil has did his thing with the colorway with the sales. They look really, really good. The age look is really a trend of 2020. We'll see if it goes into 2021, but the sale look was the thing this year. You got age Jordan 1s, you got age Jordan 4s, age Jordan 3s. So, that has been a huge trend in the sneaker community. We will see if that brings over to 2021. So coming at you at number two, we got the Nike Dunks Grateful Deads. You got the three colorways here. These are super limited and super expensive. I don't think I'm ever gonna pull the trigger on these. I'll probably be lucky enough to see these in a the case somewhere, probably even hold them in my hand. These are way out my budget right now. I refuse. And I don't know, I ain't a celebrity, so you know, I put these at number two because they're super limited and the colorways are fire. Especially the orange pair, man, I'll take those any day. Coming at you at number one, we got the Jordan 1 Dior's. I'm gonna put the highs and the lows at number one. Got the icy bottoms, then you got the, the gray, then you got the Dior on the check. Man, these are fire. This is my number one pair of 2020. I want to thank you guys for checking out my video, man. It's been a pleasure for me to be dropping videos this year. And we're just going to keep this thing rolling into 2021. If you're new, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But you already know. Loners up.